Praise the Lord. Lord, I, today I pray that this third installment of your thousand year reign of Christ Bible study will yield results. Help us, Father, to be ready for that day as it is at least seven years away. My Father, I thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, the devil really loves to imitate and try to do things like God does. Apparently, he knows it's a good plan. I do remember in uh, 1933 that Hitler, you know, in his Third Reich was supposed to last a thousand years. Well, unfortunately, he was 988 years short of that goal. Amen. For 12 years, he, he made the world a horrible place. Amen. But God is going to actually have a thousand-year reign of Christ. And in that time, he has promised that his followers, amen, for whatever capacity they are able to achieve in this life, they will be used in the next life as his ministers, amen, to minister his judgment. But the question that we're asking in the last three lessons is why? Why would God have a thousand year reign? Why not just call it all in and call it a day? Well, I believe God wants to make a point that if mankind had followed his commandments from the beginning without Adam and Eve having disobeyed him, I believe that in time they would have seen uh, the good and evil, that they would have learned of that in time, but they kind of just did it their way. And because of that, we have the pain and the suffering, the agony, the loss of life, the tears, all of the misery that this life has is because we've obeyed him. He is going to show us in a short period of time, a thousand years, what life could have been like had we only obeyed him. Now, even as a Christian, your life is going to be much, much, far much better as a Christian obeying his commandments as anything in the world has to offer. But this is just a taste of what heaven is going to be like. Remember that in the thousand-year reign of Christ, there will be unchanged human beings, and that is human beings just like yourself. Those are people full of passions, full of desires and hopes and dreams. But those people, all of us, are going to live under the rule of Christ. So whereas having sex outside of marriage is common and acceptable, uh, that will not be common and acceptable in the thousand-year reign of Christ. Whereas people are hateful towards one another, as people steal from one another, as people uh, disobey God on whatever level they do, that will not be tolerated on this thousand-year reign of Christ. It won't happen. Every act of disobedience will receive an immediate uh, punishment and recompense of reward. Also, every act of obedience and love will also receive a reward. So we will learn as a people that God is right and that God is sovereign. Now we, the redeemed of the Lord, those who have sought to follow him and be his ministers, will know more of God than the people who do not. But we will be given the task of teaching and helping people to understand God. That'll be one of the main focuses for the redeemed of the Lord in that thousand-year reign of Christ is to teach people about the heavenly God that we know. We will support and show forth the word of God and how God is right. Of course, we're going to have a deeper and a special understanding of God. Because at that time, according to the scripture, we will know him even as we are known. Now remember, there will be world a world of people who don't know God. They will have to be taught God. And we will have to relate to these human beings, about God. Do you remember how Jesus entered into the house without opening the door? Do you remember his ability to ascend and descend into heaven? I believe in the thousand-year reign of Christ, the ministers of Christ will have those same abilities. They will see and be able to work in realms that the unredeemed and ungenerated will not be able to do at that time. I'm sure that that door at some point for them will be opened but right now, they will have to learn to be in obedience to God. It will be a world of peace and joy. Amen. And next, tomorrow's message, 
I'm going to give you some of the promises that will happen during that thousand-year reign of Christ. You want to be there. Get your friends. Amen.